For most of us, we all have that one watch that started it all. The one watch that kickstarted this seemingly endless hobby. Traditionally, these watches are more affordable than some of our grails we share, but one thing remains universal. These pieces are always remembered as number one, the first watch. Although there are so many watches that can be chosen as a starting point, one Seiko specifically seems to crop up again and again as the one many people own and treasure as being the beginning. Seiko is a very popular choice for people's first watches, and although it wasn't my first watch, that spot is a reserve for a watch I had when I was about seven, the Seiko Saab 033 was my first mechanical watch. This watch here, the Seiko 5 SNKL23, is infamous at the sub £100 mark. So before we take a look at this little Seiko 5, we should probably start with the price. You can pick one of these fives up for around £80 brand new. I'd recommend keeping that in mind as we run through this watch's stats. To start with, the SNKL23 is 38mm wide, with a thickness around 10.6mm and a lug-to-lug -lug distance of 45.5mm. The case design itself is pretty modest and elegant. The only distinctively unique aspects is probably the crown position at 4 o'clock. Everything else is stylish, smart and clean. So far, you're getting a lot for your £80. Flipping the watch over, we see the Seiko in-house calibre 7S26, which sits in an almost endless amount of Seiko divers, most notably the SKX, which is priced around the £200 mark. Oh, and when we say we see, we can see it through the display case back. Another feature on this £80 watch. Sure, it doesn't have hacking or hand winding, but I'm not sure how much of a deal breaker this is for something that costs less than most official straps from Swiss Giants. Back to the front of the watch, we see alpha hands with touches of loom, a day and date function, and a black on pinstripe tuxedo style dial. Design wise, this is a hard watch to fault. It's not offensive or out there in any way, with the most abstract feature being the crown at four and that dial change up. Everything else is modest and executed well. So how does this affordable Seiko wear on the wrist? Well, this is a very classy looking watch on the wrist. Much like the Saab or pieces from the Grand Seiko lineup, its versatility is its selling point. The first thing that jumps out is how symmetrical that case is. That hidden crown at four has quite a large impact on this watch's aesthetic. It's such a compact, tidy package as well that genuinely punches well above its price point. When you consider this as an entry level watch with pretty attractive looks, solid stats, a respectable size, and is made from a well-known and respected brand, it's hard to knock points off here. The lug width on the SNKL23 comes in at 18mm, which traditionally could be a little bit tricky, however in this case it has two positives. Firstly, 18mm on a 38mm wide watch is a great transition to keep the footprint of that watch down, contributing to the overall package of the watch. And secondly, our recently growing range of 18mm straps can really transform this watch. Let's take a look at a few now. First up is a classic style of leather for the Gakota range. This Kington vintage dress strap is ideal for the SNKL23 as it combines a reasonable amount of padding for that day in day out comfort, a generous taper down to the buckle which takes into account the watch's smaller size, a great pull up leather which really lifts the whole dial and makes it feel pretty premium. And finally we see quick release spring bars, which if you're looking at this watch as probably being one of your first, this is an ideal feature. Next up we thought we'd dress this little Seiko up with a solid crocodile grain leather strap. The Liverpool strap in black is a go-to option if you want something that's traditionally dressy and will suit those smarter occasions. For our final choice, we have something a little bit different. Here we've gone for the classic Milanese mesh strap to really make the watch pop on the wrist. If you didn't think this Seiko punched above its weight beforehand, then this combo is sure to change your mind. So what are my final thoughts on this Seiko? Well, it's a perfect gateway piece to ensure people who are looking to get into this hobby end up with a watch that can inform them about the extensive nature and passionate work that goes into horology. If you're starting to get interested in watches and you're looking for your first purchase, this one here packs the right amount of punch, has a decent amount of features at a fantastic price point, and will look great while it's doing it. You'll also get a respectable nod from the rest of the community. Thanks for watching our look at the SNKL23. Find out more in the description below. We'll also be comparing this watch to a lot more expensive offerings from Seiko in the future, so keep an eye on the channel for those videos. We also have a lot more reviews of watches planned for the rest of the year, 
So, once again, stay tuned to the channel for a lot more of those in the coming weeks.